Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into this week's patient update. My name is Caroline and I'm the rehabilitation intern here and I will be taking you through some of the patients that we have. As you can see behind me, our patient board is entirely filled up. We've even had to move to a whole new wall space for all the patients we have, so I'm only going to be highlighting some of them, but we have some pretty interesting cases that I'm excited to share with you, so let's go ahead and get into it. First up for this week, we have Common Raven 630. This bird came in from Jackson, Wyoming after it was found unable to fly. Upon admission, we found that this patient has a fractured tibiotarsis, which is a bone in the leg. We currently have that leg splinted for extra support, and we are planning on rechecking this bird's x-rays every so often to ensure that the break is healing properly. This patient also has an internal parasite called capillaria. These parasites live in the GI tract of its host and can cause many different symptoms. Luckily, we caught this before the bird started showing any symptoms, so hopefully we can knock that right out with a course of antiparasitic meds. Next up for this week, we have Red-Tailed Hawk Baby 515 and Swainson's Hawk Babies 71 and 74. All of these chicks had been displaced from their nests for different reasons. Red-Tailed Hawk Baby 515 had a huge load of parasites living on its body and inside of its ears. Swainson's Hawk 71 has an eye injury, and Swainson's Hawk 74 fell out of the nest and became very cold. We currently have all of these babies housed together so that they can keep each other company, and we are hopeful that all of them will be successfully renested as soon as they are ready to go. Next up, we have Great Horned Owl 629B. This bird came from Lander, Wyoming after it was found tangled in barbed wire. Thanks to our wonderful Raptor Rescue Network volunteers, we were able to admit this patient to our clinic the same day it was found. This bird had pretty extensive soft tissue damage on one of its wings that one of our staff members quickly sutured shut. This bird will be recovering in our ICU for the next few weeks. Lastly, for this week, we have Great Horned Owl 610B. This bird came into our clinic unable to walk or support its own weight. For the last month, we've been performing physical therapy and encouraging muscle growth in the legs. After only about three weeks, this patient was finally standing on its own. We've officially moved this bird out into one of our smaller flight barn spaces where we will encourage even more muscle growth and strengthen those legs as well as flight conditioning. I decided to include this picture of this bird showing a defensive display towards me because that's exactly what we want to see from a wild bird. We don't want them to be comfortable in our presence and we also certainly don't want them reliant on us for food so I thought that this was important to show. Thank you all so much for tuning in this week. If you found a bird and we didn't mention it this week, feel free to call or text us at 307-203-2551 and we can give you an update about your patient. Um, aside from that, thank you all again for tuning in. If you want to do your part by keeping wild birds wild, click the link in the bio to donate or visit our website directly. Thank you.